Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we're going to see a problem. Boats to save people. It's a pretty good problem. Usually, people go in better solution, but it also has a super optimal solution. But yeah, let's see. Um, in this, we are given an array called as people, where the people of i is the weight of the ith person. So basically, this array called people is actually representing the weight of that ith person. And we are also having infinite amount of boats where each boat it can carry the maximum limit of weight so basically we have some people and we also have some weight of them right so we know that okay this boat it can carry a maximum limit of some weight it can have multiple people but it can carry some maximum limit of a weight which is this particular limit each boat it can uh, have at most two people which means a boat it can have either two people or one people for sure we can't have zero people on a boat we can but it's for sure that we have some person on the boat why it's because we need to return the minimum number of boats required to carry every single person so basically we have to transfer everyone so we need to give the minimum number of boats boats so why to send empty boats right cool um and we also know that okay each boat can carry at most two people which means either two or one person at the same time provided the sum of the weight of those people is at most limit and also it is saying that the sum of those people should be at most limit it should not cross the limit so basically one person its weight should also be under under the limit and it's already given it will always be under limit because it's saying that every person on this person's array has a weight which is under the limit for sure so it is already satisfied if we are trying to choose two people we need to make sure that their weight sum is under the limit or not and and after that we try to minimize the number of boats so if we is it's for sure that at worst to worst case we can place every person to one boat right we can in worst case we can place every person to one boat now how we optimize this i'll try placing two people on a boat so that i can minimize my number of boats used for sure right now when i think of this thing okay i need to minimize the number of boats used to carry a person so i will try to place two people in one boat which means if i am standing at this person its weight is three how much limit i am left with my limit was three its weight is three i placing i am placing this person of weight three limit left is zero i have to look for a person of weight zero <sighs> so which, which means that limit left is zero i can't find a person so in first in this particular boat only this person of weight three can come cool no worries i'll just move next he has gone through a boat and he's good i am standing at two now i have i put this guy on a boat is its weight is two limit left is still one which means a person of weight one can still come to actually satisfy my condition. I'll go and check in this whole array. Hey, hey, anyone is there who has a weight less than one? It says, yeah, 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 I am, I am, I am. So I'll just come and place him also. So in this particular boat, two people have come, a weight with two, a weight with one. So in this boat, two people come, I'm good. Next, I'll just grab two. It's a weight, okay. He just landed on this. Uh, limit left is one but i see no other people are left everyone has still gone so it it will still like it will just go alone in that boat because everyone has already gone so it can just go alone in that boat and in total you can see that number of boats used will be three because in this boat i was able to grab two people and thus i was able to get my answer so if you can clearly see for every person i'm going and checking in my whole array hey hey is anyone uh, has a weight which is uh, my limit left thus i have this o of n for every person i'm just going in the entire array and seeing hey is everyone is there uh, who has that uh, weight limit left because i can only accommodate the person who has limit left thus it is o of n square and as we're not, not using any space so it's o of one so it's very logical, very brute force way, okay. We just started from the scratch and thought, okay, what all can be possible? And just we wrote it down. Can you optimize that? For sure, yes. How? See, if we clearly see that our time was O of n square. How n square? N was for every person and other n was to look 
ओके वॉट अदर पर्सन कैन कम विच मीन्स वॉट अदर पर्सन हैज दैट मिनिमम वेट दैट ओके आई कैन अकोमोडेट हिम विद मी सो जस्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्लेस टू पर्सन ऑन अ बोट वी कैन थिंक ऑफ दैट वे राइट इफ आई वॉज स्टैंडिंग एट थ्री एंड आई नो ओह इट्स अ मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल वेट अ पर्सन कैन हैव then i can go and check okay is the minimum possible weight person can accommodate with me if he can accommodate with me good but if he cannot accommodate with me it's for sure it's for sure that any larger value can also never accommodate with me either he can accommodate good but any larger value if if see if one cannot accommodate with me how can a heavier person accommodate with me for sure not right so for every large value i'll just check for every small value for every every large value i'll just check what is the smallest value i can have if i can accommodate him good if i cannot accommodate him it's for sure that no matter what all people i have i cannot accommodate them because he has the smallest weight if i cannot accommodate that smallest weight itself it's how come it's possible that i can accommodate the larger weight so when smaller larger picture came we have to grab the weights we also want to minimize the complexity which means for every person i need to grab the smallest person weight largest person weight smallest largest something comes sorting sorting so that everything becomes in the increasing or the decreasing order then you can just grab the smallest and largest person weight yeah thus we know that okay we need to optimize this in o of n so basically we can just try placing that minimum person weight with the maximum person weight watch what so it is possible and thus we can just sort the array how let's see so basically first we just sort this and weights become some something like this 1 2 2 3 and as we for sure know that every person can accommodate in my particular boat one person at a time it can always accommodate so i just have heavy person with me and i'll always place a light person okay i'll just check heavy person he can always be placed heavy person i'll just have two pointers right and a left right means means heavy 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 person at that moment light means means okay just checking if he can accommodate or not i am pretty sure that the heavy person can for sure accommodate because one person can always come in a boat i'll just check he uh, is the light person also can come with that person and i'll just check with this heaviest it's a heaviest right now i'll just check the lightest if he cannot come it's for sure that no one else else cannot come because everyone else has a more weight i'll check 3 with 1 Three plus one is four, but the limit was three. That uh, this person cannot come. Sorry, uh, only the one person could come. So I just placed this one person in my boat, and I just moved my pointer. Now my pointer has come to here, right, and my left. Now I have this particular heaviest weight right now because three has gone. Three was the heaviest one. It has gone. Now the current heaviest weight is two. I just check. Ah, uh, can I pair with the lightest person? it is 2 and it is 1 it is less than 3 yeah 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 i can i can i can i'll just pair it and okay both can go to a boat which means both are gone next both will go forward left will left will go forward right will go backwards both land here again i'll check although it is at the same place you can just write the condition okay if it has it is at the same place you can just use one, like one board but still uh, in this case no matter what if the weight is less which means to 2 plus 2 if it is less or if it is even more i will only use one weight and move either both the pointers or one pointer either ways left will go beyond right and my loop will break there Thus, I can just simply use this funda. Firstly, I sort it. Then I have this particular boat count. Then I have this left and the right, left and the right. Then I just go on until my left is not crossing my right. Which means while my left is less than equal to right, I just go. I just check. Okay, if two people can be accommodated, if yes, then I will for sure accommodate those two people, Max and Min. If not, if not, if not, then I have to place only the maximum one. i have to move my pointer back and now i'll check for the lesser maximum and the minimum one okay cool and on each placement either two people or one people i i use one board right one board so i'll just use that one board as you can see we just use sorting 
in the initial thing we just use sorting thus the complexity is o of n log n and no extra space so it's o of one now can we optimize it much further question for you uh if you just clearly look see the constraints you will just notice one thing can you just see one thing limit is less than or equal to 3 into 1 e 4 we are sorting people which is n my n which means i am sorting my people which is n and its value which means the value which are being sorted it's a n and it has some value right the values which are being sorted also have a condition where they are also less than 3 into 1 e 4 where we think of values inside an array to sort them one thing is i can sort any array if the length is n then i can sort it in n log n but if we are thinking of the values inside an array to sort it so we can think of the count sort why count sort because count sort works on not the length but the values inside that particular array so as in this case i was using n log n to sort but i can just see okay what is the maximum possible value inside that particular array because it can be at max limit so I can just use count sort. I'll show how count sort works. But I can just use count sort to actually use that count limit, which means my maximum limit it can go up to O of limit. My maximum value in that I it can go to O of limit, and thus I can use my O of limit to actually sort this array by using count sort. I'll show exactly how this count sort works. So basically, in this count sort, what happens is you have this people array. You just place you just make an array called as count where every index every index represents the value here and its value counts value it represents the number of times that particular element has come three at this index three in my count array at this index three it will have one it will just show me i'll just iterate on this array and i'll just keep on updating the index value it's one the count of two it's two so i just updated the index two with the value two count of one is one now how to actually sort it it was just a count array, right it was not sorted right how to sort it is just simply go on starting from left to right then you will initially grab whatsoever value is there firstly my value one has some of the count which means that okay I, i'll just place my one here it's gone. I'll just go and place. I'll just go and land at this location. It is two. What is the value actually? Two. But the count is two. So I'll just write two two times. Now it is also gone. Now I am landing at index three. So the value ultimately was three. Its count is two. So I'll just write three one time. So I'm just moving in this count array from left to right and I'm just writing down that again. And I can just write that again in the people array because it, it is not no more using. So by this, I was able to sort it. And how, in what time? Ultimately, I just iterated on these n numbers, get this array of count, which can at max go up to limit size, because it is just the count, right? Which, which has the element as an index. And this ultimately O of n here again. So O of limit, iterating, iterating at O of limit, I just get this people's sorted array. It's the same thing that I just go on to every people and convert that to a count. So I just have this count as an array. Ultimately, I just go on again at every value of this count until the limit. Grab, okay, whatsoever is the count and its value, value, which means the, the index, the index of this count, the index was actually the actual value and the actual count value was the number of times that particular value has come so value is the actual value and the count is the number of times that has come so i'll just loop in and just place it in my people's array to actually get the array sorted and ultimately it's the same it's and as you can see the runtime has increased quite a lot because it's just o of limit the complexity is nothing like nothing but O of limit because we are sorting that particular thing in O of limit time and space is O of n. Although we have increased the space, but it's up to like it's your goal and it's the interviewer goal that what he wants from you. He wants lesser space or he wants lesser time. 
So in this, the remaining part is exactly the same, exactly the same as what we seen above. Just the sorting part has been optimized to O of limit rather than O of n log n. I hope that you guys got it. Uh, all the three intuitions, all the codes of every uh, language, C++, Java, and Python for both O of n log n code as well as as well as um, O of limit code, both are here. So. Uh, for every language, so I hope that you guys liked it. If you guys didn't like it, then goodbye, take care.